right, it's time for Consumer Confidential with David Lazarus. Here he is in the studio. Nice to see you. Love that swooping camera yeah, coming down. Cool. Just for you. Action just, shot. Just for nice. you. Talk to us about Marlboro. They're getting in the e-cigarette game. Yeah, and it's not, not just Marlboro, it's their parent company, Altria Group. And let's face it, Altria got creamed when they tried to get into vaping. They spent nearly $13 billion buying a stake in Juul, and then federal authorities cracked down on Juul for their marketing practices. That $13 billion acquisition from Altria, it's now worth about $250 million. In other words, they've lost almost the entire thing, but they will not be denied when it comes to the next generation of smoking. Altria has now invested almost $3 billion in another e-cigarette company called Enjoy. And so obviously they see this as the future for uh, smoking and, and nicotine and whatnot, but still the amounts of money that Altria is prepared to gamble and lose in this case, it's enormous. Now Juul still is the heavyweight when it comes to e-cigarettes and vaping. They control about a quarter of the market. Enjoy maybe about 3% or so, so not nearly as much. So it remains to be seen. Is Altria's latest move a smart play or more money up in smoke? Oh, see what uh, I did there? Nice, I see, I see nice. Thank you. I just, the thing with Enjoy versus Juul, Juul got a lot of federal regulations, uh, lawsuits coming down on them. Enjoy has, I, I believe, has two, uh, they, they pass FDA standards. Right. Uh, so I, I would imagine from a standpoint of Altria, it's like, okay, we're investing in something that has received federal approval. This helps. And I'm not a smoker, but Enjoy, apparently, it's different from vaping. It's mm -hmm. electronic cigarettes, however that works. And so clearly, uh, Altria seems to think that's where the money seems to be going, as opposed to vaping. Yeah. So we'll see. So from acquisition to sell-off, Paramount looks like it's getting ready to get rid of BET. Yeah, and let's get into the bigger picture of that in a sec. But right now, what's interesting here is the reports, according to the Wall Street Journal, that Paramount, trying to consolidate some of its streaming content, wants to ditch the BET network and its sister network, VH1, where I spent a good deal of the 80s, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> and, and so they're reportedly putting the, the, the networks up for sale. And you know who's a possible buyer here? Tyler Perry. It turns out that Paramount is the majority owner of BET, but Tyler Perry already owns a minority stake in BET, and according to the Wall Street Journal, he's now negotiating to perhaps take over the entire operation, which would be great for BET, obviously, great for their audience and viewers, and it kind of shows how deep Tyler Perry's pockets go, make no mistake about it. From the bigger picture perspective, what I think is really interesting as the channels move from the fat cable packages where they could kind of ride on everyone else's coattails to the streaming world where it's a social Darwinism experiment and you either are going to sink and swim, many are going to fall by the wayside. And I think Paramount Cleaning House is indicative of what we're going to see from other streaming services where they will try to see what is their core content and anything that's not core will be pushed aside. Now, if you've got a Tyler Perry waiting, great. But otherwise, I think there's going to be a whole lot of channels that we took for granted mm -hmm. in the cable era. Era right. that are going to become roadkill in the streaming era. And we're just at the outset of seeing how that put, shakes out. So many conversations are, okay, well, now I'm just paying as much as I was when I was paying for premium cable. Right. What was the point of it all? Oh, but, but I don't regret cutting the cord. It was yeah. a smart move. Because you love the KTLA Plus app. Well, it's the only place it's I go. Only, exactly. Plus, Thank you very much. Plus, yeah. you do get, I mean, uh, looking at Paramount, they've been able to acquire some really big pictures as mm -hmm. well. Big movies. That's what attracts people over there. But if you look at some of the lesser things they have on there, maybe not attracting as much could make sense for them. I'm just interested to see how this affects BET going forward because that is it's been around for so long and it is uh, it's a it's a has great shows. And can it stand alone? Does it have enough audience to do that? Because all of the streaming services, or at least most of them, are losing money. Yeah. And so it's interesting to see what Tyler Perry could pull out of his hat. If anyone can do it, he's one of the guys. He's yeah. the guy. Yeah. Uh, Casey Montoya, I know you have Paramount Plus. 